everyone! In this video I'll be turning a hollow form with a finial, a stem, and a base. I hope you guys enjoy this video. This turn was a, kind of a problem for me. I never done a hollow form before and I didn't realize that this sugar maple had a hairline crack where the mortise was and it split apart and I was able to hear cracking right before it happened and I decided that I, there's no way I'm scrapping this project so I used some good old thin CA glue and some shavings and slapped it back on the lathe and continued turning. So 
So I did have to um, mount this back on the faceplate and redo the tenon because, of course, you know, it's, it cracked and it had a split there. So I had to uh, redo the, the, not tenon, sorry, mortise. And uh, then I was able to flip it back around and continue on with uh, hollowing out the inside. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this part. I thought with the faceplate I can use the screw holes because they'd be perfectly measured out and I thought I could do like a decorative holes in the top with my Dremel. It didn't turn out the way I expected it to and I think that if I had one of those little palm, I think they're called a palm router, I think that I would have been able to do a, a design that I really liked. But I'll stop it right here and I'm going to fill these holes in and we'll do something different. So hang on. Now that I got the holes filled in, I'm just touching up, you know, some last minute little dips in it and trying to get it level and I'll smooth out the top and the inside and we'll go on to the decorative portion of the top of the hollow form. Here I'm just marking out uh, a couple lines just so that way I have kind of a reference point to where um, I could do my decorative part. Here I'm just using the metal effects paint I used in a previous turn vi turning video. It was for a rimmed bowl and I wanted something that kind of complemented but didn't take away from the hollow form. I'm going to jump around. I'm doing the stem and then I'll do the base and then I'll do the finial. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on each of these. I'm going to give you kind of an idea of what I'm doing and, and I'm going to move on.
started with 180 and went clear up to 400 grit. Here I'm using um, black leather dye and denatured alcohol. The last time I used my husband's leather dye, I didn't dilute it down and I had to wipe it off. It was kind of, I wasted it. So I decided this time to thin it down with some denatured alcohol. It worked perfectly and it also kind of like helped it dry up quicker. So I was able to move along on the project, uh, you know, quicker. I'm working on the the stand part of the holoform, the, the basically the foot of it. Um, I'm getting it shaped out the way I want it and then um, fit it for the little spindle. I'm sanding from 150 clear up to 400 because it was kind of rough after I, I shaped it so I wanted to make sure I started at kind of a lower grit. I didn't need anything lower than 150 for this so I sanded from 150 clear up to 400 grit. After I was done sanding I wiped it down with denatured alcohol. Here I am adding the black leather dye and the denatured alcohol to the base. I'm getting ready to add the stem to the base and I'm using Tight Bonds wood glue to do that and I will use the tailstock to um, hold this together until it's dry. I'm using OB Shine Juice for the finish. Now, when you're applying your finish over leather dye, whatever does not penetrate into your wood, it comes on your rags. So that's why my rag's turning black. Life in a world that keeps changing. Think that it's progress you're making. Copy and paste pretty face. I mounted the hollow form back on the lathe so that way I was able to add the finish. And I decided to um, use OB Shine Juice on it as well. Jumping ahead, I completed the finial. I, I turned it to the shape that I wanted, and I am using um, the leather dye and denatured alcohol as my color, and I will use OB Shine Juice for the finish. I, I made this to where it would just sit down inside the hollow form, almost like a cork. Um, I do, after, after this is all done, I do need to tweak the finial bottom so it sits flatter onto the top because it's kind of, it doesn't sit flat, it moves around, it rocks, like if you um, turn it, it's kind of, a, it has a wobble to it. So I wanted to kind of sit flat on there so it doesn't do that. So that's something I could, I'll finish, um, you know, at a later time. But uh, other, than this, other than that, it turned out um, amazing. I had fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out. And I will put a link to Starbond in my description if you guys are interested in buying some Starbond CA glue.
it been never know the things that you're feeling capture your body get your best side breathe in the world be